water's been extremely questionable this year. Mostly I've had to drink out of these type of wallows and say I've seen what the bears and the elk do in the in these so oh, these filters work. Didn't need the bonos for this one. I almost stepped on it. That's cool. It's, uh, I guess they call it a hard white. It's, it was a brown, now it's all faded on one side. It's cool, first one of the trip. A three pointer. I didn't even know they made those. My initial thought was that this was the match to that first one that I found, but it's this it's the same side, so that's cool. Just trying to make my way back. It was a brown two. I guess two hard whites. Well all three are hard whites, I guess. That's cool. It has a, a that back tine really drops down.
This is day zero. The season starts tomorrow. I was whittling a, like a spatula to eat with because I forgot to bring a spoon. And I heard a bull bugle so I grabbed the camera and then I could see him raking brush. And I was trying to sneak around to get a better angle on him. And when I looked back, he was checking out the hammock. I can't believe that, he was right there. Look, it's like a six by six, nice ball. I just hit a ball. I've been hunting my way in here all morning. I busted a ball, but I didn't see. Then I saw two bulls out in the aspens, and I think the GoPro picked them up. But then I came here to this wallow where I put a camera a couple weeks ago and the bears had smacked it around which I had expected but I was getting the equipment back and I heard a bugle and I bugled in response and a very short time later he bugled again and he had cut the distance in half so it happened so fast I had no time to get everything ready to go I was trying to get this camera set up but I didn't have time because before I did I saw the cow she was mewing and she came walking by and then I saw the bull and he, he was coming right towards me and he stopped behind some brush. I turned the GoPro on that was over my shoulder but the battery died on it. Then I turned the GoPro on that was on my bow and then I waited. It was about three minutes and he followed the cow when I had to step up and it was, you know how it is hunting in this stuff. It's, you never have a really clear open shooting lane, very rarely. So there was a lot of brush, but I, I mewed and I got him to stop. I did, have my I did not have my mouth call in, but I got him to stop. And he was, he was, I have to range it still. It was, it was 20 yards, or it was no more than 20 yards. I put the 20 yard pin on him. Like he was quartered away, looking over his shoulder. And I had it right centered, centered that pin on the ribs. And when it hit him, it sounded like it hit a rib. I'm waiting. I'm gonna give him an hour. It's already been over half an hour, and uh, I'm just gonna do what I can do. That's that's all. That's
that's all it is. It's bow hunting. It's, uh, it's, uh, I respect the life. I respect the animal. Uh, and I don't want to wound an animal, cause it to suffer. Um, so, I'm just hoping that he's, he's done and I can recover him and make this a, a good experience because if I don't, knowing I hit him and wounded him, uh, I'll probably be done, at least for this season. I'm not, I'm not going to, to, to hunt another bull knowing I've already wounded one if, if I don't recover him, but, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic that I will. probably a hundred yards from where he was when I shot. I have blood now, so I had to do a lot of circles trying to figure out where he went. And I was able to cut this little bit of blood, so I have a blood trail now. back to the last area that I had blood.
I got the fire going and among that boulder and kind of leveled out the area where I'm going to stay the night. And then I went to get some boughs to make my bed so I can sleep on the ground there. And I saw this bear track, which is what led me to where that boulder is to begin with. And, and now I'm following it and I think it's going the direction of where the bull went. So I'm, I'm hoping he leads me to the bull. So that's what I'm doing, I'm following his track. Big buck. So here's my setup where I made camp for tonight. Uh, as you can see, I built that fire at the base of this boulder, so it will it will radiate all that heat back. That's actually really nice. It's pretty warm in here. And then I made a log wall here just to block the wind. It started on fire. Uh, but I think I got it out. It's still smoldering. I don't know. I have my wood. I have another pile on the other side. And then I have all my stuff here drying out. My bow. I put the tarp up as another wind block. I made this bed of spruce and fir boughs. And I have my bag, camera stuff, and everything else tucked in here. So... Yeah, that's the setup. It's not a Holiday Inn Express, but it'll have to work for tonight. I'm I'm warm and dry, so that's the main thing. I followed bear tracks around, uh, hoping that they would lead me to the carcass of my bull, but they just seem to be going downhill through the thick oak brush. So I'm not really sure what that was. But what got me excited when I when I came out here, there was right where i lost the last blood following my bull there was a small cat track and a bear track right there going the same walking on the same path together so i was hopeful about that there's still a lot of area that i haven't looked haven't searched so i'm going to keep running the tracks with the onyx app on my phone it will show me everywhere i've been and i'm just going to cover as much as i can and try to turn up this bull. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention to the animal tracks while there's snow, obviously, and I'm gonna look for birds and other indicators that that maybe um, may draw me into where my bull is. So that's all I can do, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna be a rough a rough night out here on the in the mountain, but I think it will work. I'm still searching, looking for my bull, and. I saw some three ravens circling pretty far away and I ended up following them coming down. I could hear something ahead of me. I looked, there's this little drainage right here. I looked across and saw a bear, big black bear. And I thought for a second, I saw antlers and I got excited. Like he's, he's on my, he's on my elk. He's on my, the kill and with the ravens and the bear and everything then i looked over and there's there's a dead head but it's it's not my bull so the bear just took off and the bear was right here where this where this skull was we'll go check it out if i can make it without breaking my neck here that's a big one Wow, it's a really big one. Wow, this is a, this is an awesome bull. He probably was 
wounded by an arrow and died down here in this drainage and so mine could have done the same and uh, I'm still looking for him. This is a huge bull. <clears throat> it's been here a little while. Just chew on it and stuff, but overall pretty good shape. That was crazy. I knew, you know, I was following those tracks down here and I knew there was a bear that I was hearing and then there was a little spot of water and I could see his little wet paw prints coming out. And then I saw him moving, I was coming along that edge. I saw him moving through this darker timber. And then I saw him standing here looking at me and, and I see some antlers. So I got pretty excited for a second. I thought we found my bull, but I guess we found somebody else's from several years ago. But this is cool. I, I'll have to figure out how to get this out. It's uh, couldn't be in a worse location. And uh, I have to go. I lost a lot of elevation. I have to go way back to get my pack and everything. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta keep looking for my bull. I know I killed him and I wanna find him, but this is awesome. Cool find. I just set the first deadhead down like 20 yards over there so I could go back and get my backpack and everything. And I came up, I saw a shoulder blade, looked over, Another dead head. Another one that was a pretty big bull. Man. So, two bulls kind of dropped down the mountain and died in this drainage. I'm assuming they were shot by hunters. So, maybe mine is somewhere around here i hope i can find him if he is this is where there were ravens there were three ravens circling right over here but i i need to get i'd have to just stumble upon them like i did these ones This is five by five by six, I guess. Well, I'll leave them both here until I can figure out how to pack them out and what I'm gonna do and everything. I've got two dead heads and this set of sheds to pack out and I'm still looking for my bull. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even hunting anymore. I didn't even carry my bow with me today. I left the pack and just walked around making tracks on Onyx, trying to grid the area and find, and find my bull and I keep finding all this other stuff. I'm not complaining. I love doing this, but I'm really just trying to find my bull. That would really make me happy. Just found another old dead head. Small bowl. That's cool. I've got three to pack out now.
shed. I did. got this elk shed and three deadheads to pack out. Those bears are, well, you can see them right there. woofing at me as I was coming uphill and then I saw her and I thought she was acting really aggressive <clears throat> but I couldn't see the cubs and then I just stepped forward about 10 feet and I saw the three cubs so that's pretty cool Chalky five point. I'll probably leave this one here. I spent six days looking for that bull that I hit, and I really wore myself out doing that. <clears throat> the shot was high, it didn't penetrate as much as I thought it was going to. I don't know, it kind of took the hunting spirit out of me. Um, don't really want to go, nor do I have the energy to go hunt another bull um, since then. But I did what I could to look for him. And uh, that was, that's, as a hunter, that's, that's the most I can do, so. Oh, just another bonus shed on the way out here it's brown it's like it was broken here and then something chewed it a little bit but that's pretty cool I gotta get back to Maine pretty disappointed in uh, what happened but I'm just learning to accept it it's what it is and just looking forward to next year that's all I can do